Bison Relay 0.1.9 was released this week with a massive focus on squashing bugs, user experience improvements, paving the way for two significant new features and becoming mobile compatible. Let's install the new version by heading over to bisonrelay.org and navigating to the appropriate download for our operating system. To get the latest release, you'll need to click on the release notes, which will take you to GitHub. Click on the releases link in the menu bar will take you to the latest version. Because I'm on a Mac, I'll download the Darwin version. Once downloaded and installed, open the software. The first thing you'll notice is how fast the app synchronizes and opens. This is due to the large array of improvements and optimizations made over the last few months. The newsfeed area has had a lot of user improvements, the first being the notifications, which now show as a simple red dot over the newsfeed and chat menus when new comments or posts are available. The newsfeed area now reorganizes showing the latest posts or posts with new comments at the top. On the right hand side, there is a new date display for each post to show when it was initially created. Images now display on the newsfeed homepage. Currently, these have been optimized to a small size with an approximate width of 200 pixels. If you click on the image, they become full screen and scale with the interface. If we click into a post that has comments, we'll see there have been some significant improvements with how comments are ordered organized, collapsible, and nested to help the reading experience. One of the biggest improvements made to the chat area is all previous conversations are available after you close and reopen the software. This was a much requested feature that makes the chat a lot more useful for continued discussions. The chat area is testing out some new design features. For instance, the chat bar got a new look which is very slick and combines multiple elements including text input, attachments, and the send button. Clicking in and out of the chat bar also has a white highlight to show when it's active. Another design feature is that all chats are now grouped by date. There is an interesting difference between the individual chat screen and the group chat screen. Individual chats have no background, but the group chat has a gray background to highlight the date grouping. Which do you prefer? In the group chat, there is a scroll button that will be very useful to help you quickly navigate to the latest comments. An address book has been added to buy some relay, which was a much requested feature that allows for reducing the number of active chats in the chat bar. If you click on the plus button at the bottom, it takes you to the address book where you'll see a search bar, a list of contacts and available groups. If you start typing in the search bar, you'll find the contact or group you're looking for rapidly. When there's a public group available that you are not a member of, you'll see a plus button on the right hand side, which will let you join that group. The same is also true for starting a new conversation with one of your contacts. If you want to reduce the number of contacts in your chat bar, go back to the chat window, click on the contact and select user profile. On this page, press the hide chat button. This user has now been removed from the chat bar, but if you head back to the address book, you'll see them there. If you want to reopen a chat with that person, simply press the plus button and the previous chat will be restored. Another useful improvement concerning your contacts is the unsubscribe to post link in the contacts option sidebar. This will show a subscribe to posts when you're not subscribed to that person's newsfeed. As said previously, there's also a development effort to bring pages and storefronts to buy some relay. This can be seen in the page browser area. Although this is an available tab, it's currently not active for GUI users. The aim is to bring a whole host of user features and activities to the platform, from simple web pages to digital marketplaces. Finally, work has begun to make Bison Relay mobile compatible. By scaling the app below a certain point, it will display the mobile interface, which includes collapsed menu bars and mobile navigation that allows the user to move between the various sections. Even in its early stages, the mobile version of Bison Relay feels very user-friendly. 
As you can see, some pretty considerable steps have been made to make this an incredibly useful and easy to use app. As we evolve to a new internet, an everything app that preserves privacy and is censorship resistant will be extremely important. Bison Relay is building that future.